So in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to add borders to images here on Canva. So first thing you have to do is find an image that you want to add a border to. Uh, for the sake of this demonstration, I'm just going to go to the elements tab here on the left and use this photo right here of this adorable little kitty cat. Now, uh, this works for any photo that you want, but for this example, as I mentioned before, I'm just going to take a photo from Canva, not a huge deal. Now, I'm going to show you guys three different methods you can use. Uh, probably the easiest to the hardest one, but all three work in regards to adding a border uh, to an image. So the first thing, you, that, that probably the easiest method to do uh, is go to where it says the elements tab right here. I want you to press on, I want you to scroll down all the way down until you see frames right here. So once you see frames, I want you to press see all. Uh, and since this is a square photo, uh, and I don't want to add too much, I want you to go to the left hand side here and find this image right here of a white, or sorry, not a square. Um, that would work too, I guess, but uh, we'll just use this one right here. A nice rounded photo right here. Um, and as you can tell, there's a beige perimeter on it. I want you to grab this photo, drag it into this square, and just like that, you now have pretty much the exact same photo um, cropped a little bit, but it's pretty much perfect. You can use any frame you really want. Uh, and if you want to change the frame or the outline color, press on the outline color right here. I go to the top left corner and I'll just change it to black and I will change the background of this, uh, this design uh, to dark blue. So it looks a little bit nicer. That is probably the easiest method on how to add um, borders to images here on Canva. Uh, but if you want to go maybe a step further and you don't want to use any of these uh, frames that are, you know, preset, I guess, in Canva, not a big deal. Uh, you can just delete this, delete this. We'll use our cat photo again. Another method, which is also a pretty simple method in my opinion, um, what I want you to do is where it says lines and shapes under the elements tab, I want you to press on see all, and I just want you to use a regular square. Once that is done, change the color of the background you wanna use. I'll just use a black square for this example. Uh, just start off by centering it, grab the border right here, bring it all the way to the outside and just make it a little bit bigger. Bring it all the way to the outside and make it a little bit larger. Same thing, all the way to the outside, a little bit larger, and then all the way to the outside, a little bit larger, so that you're covering the initial photo. Once that is done, go to the top right corner, press on these three little dots where it says more, press on where it says position, and then press on where it says backwards. Now all of a sudden it looks like we have a black uh, border to this photo without really doing much. Um, but as another method, if you wanna go even a step further, um, another method we can use is by um, deleting this, we'll go back to our original photo um, that we used, which by the way is right over here. There we go. Uh, and probably the most tedious method, but this one works as well. I go to where it says lines and shapes, press on see all, and we're just gonna use the lines and do it manually. So you can make the lines whatever thickness you want. We'll just make it 40 for the sake of this video. I want you to press on it, move this little icon right here, move it all the way up so that it's half in and half out half in and half out, drag it to the end, and drag it to the end. Once that is done, copy and paste it, then, uh, then bring it all the way down. My apologies, bring it all the way down to the bottom, and same thing, make sure it's half in and half out, just like that. I want you to copy and paste it one more time, drag it, this time we have to make it 90 degrees, um, I guess minus 90 degrees, and we'll use it on the left-hand side, same thing. We'll drag it to the bottom, drag it to the bottom, and drag it to the top. Once that is done, I want you to copy and paste this line, and then bring it to the side, just like that, and make sure um, it covers just like that. So those are just a couple of methods on how to add a frame uh, to an image here in Canva. Hopefully these methods helped.